Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. While I normally fly an Ishgur, for Blood Raider sites I've instead chosen to fly another assault frigate called the Jaguar. This ship is well suited for the Blood Raider human farm. Combat signatures appear in your probe scanner window, and you must scan them down with probes before you can warp to them. Some combat signatures are referred to as DED rated sites. DED stands for the Directive Enforcement Department, an NPC corporation that is a division of Concord. Such combat sites are given a difficulty rating on a scale of 1 through 10. The Blood Raider Human Farm is a combat signature found in all systems with a security status of 0.9 and higher throughout the western regions of Amar space. This includes Genesis, Kador, Corazor, and Canid. There are actually relatively few systems where this site can spawn. In Genesis, you lie in Orafe or nestled in close to Galent space. And in western Amar space, there's a handful near Corazor Prime, another small group just to the south in Kador, and another handful near Canid Prime. This site is a good place for younger pilots to practice their PvE combat skills. It also has a reasonable potential for some decent loot drops. Only up to Destroyer-class ships will be allowed into the site. You will land directly on an acceleration gate, which you must activate to enter the first room of the site. For many people, the so-named Human Farm is the single most terrifying aspect of the Covenant's legend. An extensive facility, often spanning several pockets of dead space, where captured human beings are harvested for their blood, sustained in a weakened state on endless treadmills of excruciating torment. While some choose to disbelieve that such places exist, the facts of the matter unfortunately speak for themselves. The first room has a total of 24 Blood Raider NPCs, all flying corvettes or frigates. The first group is ahead to the right, in front of an abandoned Amar Cathedral, consisting of eight corvettes or frigates. The second group is straight ahead, en route to the acceleration gate, consisting of eight more corvettes or frigates. The third group is ahead to the left, in front of a dysfunctional solar harvester, consisting of another eight corvettes or frigates. The acceleration gate is locked, requiring that all NPCs in the area be destroyed. The sentry guns, however, can be ignored. In the second room, you'll land in front of several asteroid colonies guarded by two groups of Blood Raider NPCs. The first group is ahead to the right, consisting of five corvettes or frigates. The second group is ahead to the left, consisting of another five corvettes or frigates. Among the asteroid colonies are three stasis towers that will webify you as you approach the acceleration gate. You can mostly avoid being webified by the stasis towers by flying in a wide arc above or below the room. The acceleration gate is again locked, requiring that all NPC ships in the area be destroyed. In the third room, you'll land near a large Amar mining station ruins guarded by three separate groups of Blood Raider NPCs. The first group is ahead to the right, consisting of four frigates and a cruiser. The second group is straight ahead, en route to the acceleration gate, consisting of five frigates and three cruisers. The third group is ahead to the left, consisting of another four frigates and a cruiser. The acceleration gate is predictably locked, requiring that all NPCs in the area be destroyed. In the fourth and final room, you'll land in front of a large pleasure hub flanked by a collection of human farm structures. The area is guarded by three separate groups of Blood Raider NPCs. The first group is ahead to the right, consisting of two frigates and two cruisers. The second group guards the pleasure hub, consisting of five frigates and four cruisers. The Dark Blood Keeper is among the frigates. The third group guards the collection of human farms, consisting of two frigates and three cruisers. You can ignore the majority of the NPCs and focus solely on the Dark Blood Keeper. He will always drop a sixth tier Overseer's effects, and has a decent potential to drop one or more Corpy B-type Dead Space modules, or Dark Blood modules. A ship like the Jaguar, fit with light missiles, will run this site in about eight minutes. Because the entrance gate is restricted to destroyer class or lower ships, tactical destroyers are probably the best choice for this site. 
Younger pilots looking to test themselves may want to try out a coercer fit with beam lasers. While recording the footage for this video series, I kept track of the statistics for 10 Blood Raider human farm sites. Over this period, seven of these dropped something beyond the Overseer's effects. The best result included a Corpy B-type multi-spectrum coating and a Dark Blood heatsink. Overall, I seem to be more lucky in this site than most other 2 of 10 DED rated sites. In high security western Amar space, you can also probe down other DED rated sites like the Old Mini Cultivation Center, Blood Raider Intelligence Collection Point, and Malzata Monastery. The Blood Raider Psychotropics Depot can only be found in high security space through a lucky escalation from a blood den. Note that the Eastern Amar regions have similar combat sites featuring Sanchez Nation NPCs. Other NPC pirates include Rogue Drones, the Serpentus, Garistas, and Angel Cartel. My journey to host a complete set of combat site video guides began in 2020 with a similar 13-part series for Serpentus combat sites. I followed this up with similar series for Garistas and Angel Cartel. If you find yourself outside of Amar space, you can check out those videos right now. If you're curious about fitting assault frigates for combat site exploration, you can check out the gaming section of my website over at RileyEntertainment.com. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides, and smash that like button if you enjoy my content.